To many people, it seems obvious that Mondstadt was based on the nation of Germany. But in this video, I'm here to analyze and present the parts of Mondstadt's lore that specifically connect it to both German history and culture. In addition to Germany, there are also connections to other European countries that I will draw to Mondstadt as well. If you haven't seen my previous Genshin lore video, the link will be in the description. With that being said, please enjoy the video. First, let's take a look at the visual aspects of Mondstadt that make it seem so similar to Germany. Starting with the aesthetics, the design of Mondstadt's city is actually not broadly German. Rather, Mondstadt's design seems to focus on one specific state from southern Germany, called Bavaria. The houses we see in the streets of the City of Wind follow Bavarian architecture by matching the appearances of the Bauern houses found in the region. Another Bavarian aspect Mondstadt seems to adopt is the use of traditional clothing. The female NPCs wear a dress resemblant of a Bavarian dirndl. In addition to clothing and architecture, the production of wine and the use of oversized beer mugs follow the culture of alcohol and cuisine found in Germany. Mondstadt's locals revere their nation's signature dandelion wine, which is famous and held with high regard all across Tevat. Germany too has remarkable sense of wine culture, with the world's largest wine festival, the Wurstmarkt, being held annually at Bad Dorkheim. Carrying on with alcohol, the comically large beer mugs seen in the Angel's Share seem to take the place of the iconic German beer mug, known as a Stein. In Germany, they are often presented as ornamental and possess lids from the fear of contamination caused by the Black Plague. While we're still on the topic of food and drink, the cuisine of Mondstadt seems to fit the German appetite as well. During the first quest with Zhang Ling, we learn that the Mondstadt hunting community of Springvale possess the tradition of hunting and cooking wild boar. It's even suggested that we see its meat hanging from Good Hunter. In Germany, the hunting of wild boars actually possess both cultural and culinary significance. Bavaria is famous for its wild boar bratwurst, but in terms of culture, the head of a wild boar is upheld as a sign of bravery and honor in Germany. Moving back to architecture, it is not only the houses that seem to possess German design. The Cathedral of the Church of Avonius possess a medieval architectural style found commonly in Germany and Europe, called Brick Gothic. Elements of Brick Gothic found in Mondstadt include the use of pointed spires, large stained glass windows, and flying buttresses. All of these characteristics make the cathedral in Mondstadt resemble that of the Cologne Cathedral, a famous German church that also exhibits the same attributes. Now that we're on the topic of the Favonius organizations, there is actually a real order of German knights that the Knights of Favonius could be compared to, that being the Teutonic Order. The Teutonic Order was an organization of medieval German knights who were tri-denominational, swearing loyalty to the Catholic Church, then in later times to the Protestant Lutheran and Reformed churches. The Teutonic Order also escorted Christian pilgrims during the Crusades to the Middle East, and set up hospitals during that era in order to heal wounded personnel and civilians. These practices of the Teutonic Order are also seen in the Knights of Favonius. Just like how the Teutonic Order was religiously affiliated, the Knights of Favonius are also seen working side by side with the Church of Favonius. Just like how Teutonic Knights protected Christians on their religious pilgrimage to the Middle East, Favonius Knights are often seen protecting travelers as they make their way across to that. As the Teutonic Order did construct hospitals to heal Christians during the Crusades, the Knights of Avonius also possess a number of healers among their ranks. While we're on the topic of German history, there is another connection we can draw to Mondstadt. The ancient order of aristocrats that once oppressed Mondstadt could be a parallel to ancient Rome. Let me explain. During ancient times, the ancestors of the modern German people were the Germanic tribes. They were subjugated by the Roman Republic and Roman Empire, who called their region Germania. Because the ancient Germanic people also consisted of bloodthirsty barbarians, the Romans thought of them as lowly and primitive. The Germanic peoples would at times face oppression at the hands of the Romans, including enslavement. However, the fall of the Roman Empire was accredited to the invading Germanic tribes, who toppled the world's largest superpower. Once the Roman Empire fell, its former territories were in a state of instability. So in order for the common people to seek refuge from brigands, 
they sought protection under feudal landlords, who employed knights to guard their territory. Mondstadt's history seems to emulate that of Rome and ancient Germania. Just like how Roman aristocrats subjugated the Germanic people, the ancient aristocrats, such as the Lawrence clan, subjugated the people of Mondstadt. When Vanessa and Barbados led the people of Mondstadt against its aristocratic oppressors, it could be likened to the Germanic barbarians overthrowing the Roman Empire. The establishment of the Knights of Avonius to protect Mondstadt after destroying the aristocracy could also be a parallel to the creation of feudal knights to protect commoners after the fall of the Roman Empire. Besides history, we see Roman similarities in the aesthetics of Mondstadt as well. While the populated regions of Mondstadt exhibit medieval Germanic features, the ruins of the ancient civilization that once ruled the country possess Roman and Greek design, especially with the Thousand Winds Temple. Even the Roman tradition of winemaking seems to be represented at the Don Winery, where Diluc just so happens to have a Roman Latin name, which coincidentally means Don in the Roman language. In addition to Germany, who also called itself the Holy Roman Empire during medieval times, Mondstadt also has parallels to another European nation who took much influence from Roman culture, that being Spain. At the Angel's Chair, we see a bard named Six-Fingered Jose. He could be a parallel to a type of musician in Spanish society, called a tuno. They are musicians originating from medieval Spain who sing at taverns in order to collect money for university debts. In a similar manner, Six-Fingered Jose has a Spanish name and plays at a bar. Continuing on with Roman culture, I said earlier that the Lawrence clan could be the stand-in for the Roman aristocrats that once ruled Germany. The truth is, the Lawrence clan does possess some influence from Greco-Roman culture. Eula has a Greek name and constellation, and many historians acknowledge the influence Greek culture had on Rome. Furthermore, Eula's main theme, the Dance of Afros, also possesses Spanish and Argentinian inspiration, two countries that center their culture around Roman and Latin traditions. If you want more videos where I compare Genshin and video game lore to real life history, please consider subscribing and check out my previous videos as well. With that being said, please like and share, and see you in the next, where I compare the lore of Liyue to Chinese history.